What's up, Slackers? Welcome back to the channel. So yeah, it's been a crazy year the past 2020. And 2021 is gonna be epic. It's the redo year. It's been a bit for this project. I've had numerous setbacks on the Strix project. Number one is trying to get them. It's very difficult. I was lucky enough to be able to get three. Um, I've tested a, a couple of them. They were also hard to get like in. Once I got them, I had one card that took like o almost over a month. It's been ridiculous. But I was able to find a couple good cards, so we're also gonna be running SLI, so look forward to that in uh, the series of this. But anyways, yeah, shipping's been difficult. I've also had this weird issue with uh, my Apex. It, uh, I don't know, I, I have this nickname for it. It's called uh, Voodoo Apex. Uh, what it does is it stops working like mid session or it just stops working sometimes and will basically post a zero zero. And in the uh, Asus world or, or most of the Intel world, anytime you really see, or even AMD, but anytime you see a zero zero, usually that means dead CPU. But with this board, it's, it's weird because if I let it sit anywhere from two hours to five days, it just comes back to life magically. So. We dubbed the, the Voodoo Apex. So I've tried to get another board in, and literally this week I've just got one in. So we're gonna end up switching, migrating over to it, but right now everything's set up, so we're just gonna go with this for now. And But the other thing is, is I have a six month old son. Yes, it's a little difficult sometimes with the new baby, especially since he's been teething. But yeah, but it, it's been epic, uh, it's one of the, probably most enjoyable things as, as being a father and having a boy that's just growing up and he's growing up so fast and you never want to miss a beat. So I do, I spend a lot of time with him and you're going to start seeing him more on the channel. Obviously he's so damn cute and plus I'm going to see how he grows and I don't know, have you guys experience it with me too. Now another reason why it's taken so long is not because of a uh, setback, but one of the things with the Strix uh, that was a little interesting, when you're using the EVC, when we kept on trying to control all the voltages and stuff, all the cards for this generation basically have a couple different voltages. Usually you have GPU voltage, and then you have MEM voltage, and then like a PLL. Well, on this generation, we have a um, GPU voltage, and then we have like a secondary voltage. By default, all cards basically Sync the regular voltage. So if you're like 1.2 on the GPU voltage, you're 1.2 on the secondary voltage. When you look at the EVC program, it only sh would show one controller. So basically, you could only set GPU voltage. I've been working with uh, Elmore. He's the one that made the EVC. He has a Discord server. The link is in the description below. On the Discord, there was actually another power user that basically found out if you ran one command that you can actually get access to that secondary controller. Now that secondary controller is really what's helpful for overclocking on liquid nitrogen. By pushing that voltage up, that's what's helping us with scores and it will help with the efficiency of pushing the clocks ever so higher. Before, you could only set GPU voltage. Doing that was, I, I felt like it was really necessary to make sure that this worked and tested it before I would actually put it on liquid nitrogen to go for some proper scores. Make sure you check out the EVC at elmorelabs.com. Now to modify the EVC so that way you can see this secondary voltage and to be able to control it, you basically have to go in and run one command. I'm gonna have the command in the description below so that way you can understand it. Now when you get this, you basically have all the same settings when you're setting the GPU voltage. So you basically just can now set it independently. Now I'm hoping this gets me higher scores on liquid nitrogen and higher scores. I pretty much tested all the cards on water I've found a clear winner. Um, I mean, this card that I've found out of the three is, is it's better on core, it's better on memory, and it's actually pretty stellar on memory. Um, I actually have only done one um, test so far, like one session on liquid nitrogen, and basically the, I don't know, I didn't even find a, uh, a spot where memory stopped scaling. It kept on going up and going up, going up, and I did a long session maybe for like a couple hours, and. Obviously, if, if, when you're benching a lot, you really only have a certain amount of time to be able to bench. So I was just testing mem, testing mem, testing mem, and then I did a couple runs on cores, but I was able to improve my score by two, 300 points, and I haven't even tested core yet. Now we got a lot of things coming in the future. We're gonna be doing streams on Twitch and YouTube, so don't think we're not gonna be doing streaming, and I know you guys miss them, I miss them too. 
So we're going to be getting back to those. We're just gonna, trying to get the video thing going, and then we're going to start doing more streams again. So make sure you like and subscribe, comment below, and if you really want to support the channel, you can also donate through Patreon. In Patreon, we have a Discord server with a great community that we all talk. I'm on there often. If you want to find in more behind the scenes, that's where you want to go. It doesn't take too much, and to support the channel, it goes a long way. And plus, I always like the encouragement. Now, for this session, we got a couple things we're going to do. Um, we basically are trying new paste. I usually use KPX on all my GPU stuff, but... I figure what a chance, one of the issues that I had when I tried to bench the card on the first session is that I kept on cracking paint. We're going to try uh, Thermal Grizzly Cryo Extreme to see how this is going to test. Now this is the first time I've tested it, so I really don't know how it's going to work. So we're kind of, we're throwing some things here, we're going to try to make it interesting. I have, I have no idea what we're going to score, I mean, we're, we can only, hopefully we can only go up from here. Yeah, for all the mem testing that we did before on Liquid Nitrogen, um, I I feel like with a proper session that we go right for the core and right to proper memory settings, we're going to get a proper score. I ended up calling my LN2 guy, getting a bunch of LN2, so I got two 30 liters. That's 30 liters, if you don't know. Um, and I also got 200, 160 liters sitting in the garage. So I'm pumped. I want to bench. I haven't had time to, so I'm excited for it. So I think what we're going to do is, uh, I don't know, bench. Ha! Finally, we get to test. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna explain the setup now. It's We're going pretty good over here. We got the EVC down here. This is basically uh, all connected to my surface over here. We got the all EK water cooling with the EK uh, cryo block. And then we got the Strix. You can see how I've modified it a little bit. We got some uh, was it an aluminum C channel right there. So you can see basically on the VRM. So that's cool. And we got the back plate on there. Trying to make sure we have everything set up and dialed in correctly. Yeah, these C channels are going to help to cool the VRM. The VRM is pretty, uh, gets pretty toasty here. So we want to make sure that uh, it's nice and cold. On the EVC, you can actually tell the temperature of the VRM. And I noticed uh, when I benched it last time that it was running really hot so this should be a great improvement so looks pretty nice all right let's get started i don't know let's see if we can uh break some records huh maybe not who knows all i know is we're not slacking i get the bench Woohoo! yeah buddy Well, that was an epic failure. Basically, I forgot to set the memory controller. There's a little thing that says enable the control, voltage control, so my voltage was in there. And by the time I figured that out, um, yeah, the car, I'm fighting condensation right now. It's like 51% humidity in here, and I can't seem to get it down much. It's kind of ridiculous. So uh, the humidity is like crazy in Florida. So right now I'm having some issues. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up breaking down putting it in the hot box, making sure that it's gonna get all nice and dried up, and then we're gonna go for another one again. All right, I'm just gonna torch it up. This is what I call the hot box. So basically, you can see all the water already on it. I barely benched it. The humidity is just so high in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in the box for probably about 20 minutes to dry it up. And then we'll go again. And the Voodoo Apex struck again. Here it does a zero zero. What a crock. Yep. <laughs> Every single time. Time to switch boards. I think we're done. So yeah, that was uh, interesting to say the least. Uh, yeah, so to break it down is uh, we ended up doing three sessions. Two sessions were actually on the Thermal Grizzly Extreme. 
Uh, I had nothing but issues. Um, the first time, when I the uh, first couple of runs I did on the first session, I forgot to actually set up memory, so I'd give it like plus uh, 0.100 volts, and I didn't do that. So to push 1450 on mem needs a little bit. So. But as, as I went a little bit further, I thought that was the issue. But um, when I actually broke down, because I couldn't even get a, a run in. So when I broke down, I basically heated it up. We ended up running it again, and I still couldn't get a run in. So there was something definitely, the pace doesn't seem to work very well. But I can't really make a total accurate decision on it, because that was the only the first mount that I did with it. So I don't know. We're going to have to, we're gonna have to put a TBD on that one to, to be determined. Because so far it looks like KPX is way better. So on the third session, I actually broke down the card and repasted it, and I put KPX on it. And I was pretty much up and running. I couldn't even run 2500 on the Thermal Grizzly, and I was able to finish it at about 2625. Uh, you can see the score up. It's posted up on Future Mark. It's uh, 17749. So Jay, you're slacking, brother. You need to upgrade that score because this is only the beginning but because of course as soon as I got it running and right after I got that score the voodoo apex kicked in with the famous zero zero so I, I pretty much only did a couple runs to get that and then all of a sudden the zero zero happened which pretty much is how it always happens uh, where I have to just stop fetching so the the system won't come out back on right now so I'm gonna have to end up switching the board I was going to do bio settings at the end of this video, but since the board won't boot, um, I don't know, we're going to have to wait on that one. So, sorry to the sub out there that I promised to provide the bio settings on the Z490 Apex. So, next time, broski. We're going to end up setting up a new board, so we're going to end up redoing the settings completely. But that's not going to be part of this video, that will be part of the next video. So. But yeah, we upgraded our scores. We are now ahead of Jay. We're still in about like sixth place, seventh place. So we got a lot more to go in this. This is just uh, getting the basics set up, making sure the EVC works. But yeah, so uh, stay tuned and uh, I don't know, keep watching because it's about to get interesting. So yeah, make sure you like and subscribe. You don't want to miss this. Slacker out.